You stand around and watch all the opportunities go by. They sit there, they sit there. They, oh, I'm getting ready. Bert's getting ready. Bert's getting ready. Rick's getting ready. Oh, maybe, maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Oh, fuck no, no, I'm tired now. Maybe the next one, maybe the next one. And, and there comes somebody like me, just jumps on the fucker and eats it. The difference between me and everybody in this room is I have no fear of anything. A true hunter is wired differently. He's wired differently. Listen to me, what makes a gazelle a gazelle is how he's wired. What makes a lion a lion is how he's wired. Okay, let me explain to you. When a lion sees a gazelle and the gazelle sees the lion, both beasts see each other at the exact same time. When the gazelle sees the lion because of how he's wired, he automatically, fear takes over. When the lion sees the gazelle, he lights up. It's showtime. The hunt is on, this is what I was made for. And if you've ever studied a lion, if an animal is wounded, the lion won't even do what? Won't attack. The lion will only attack if it's a real, if it's healthy. The lion will ah, let him go. It's no fun in that. He's already dead. Right, for real, there's some of you, there are opportunities that you're like, it's too difficult. It's too hard. Nobody can do it. You're not wired properly. The lion welcomes the challenge. Matter of fact, they don't get excited unless it is a challenge. When a gazelle immediately sees a lion, the first thing it thinks about is, let's go. First thing the lion does is like, let's eat. Oh, I'm wired differently. I didn't start crying. I didn't say, why me? I'm doing good to the world. I'm not hurting anybody. Why me? I'm wired differently. We turn tragedy into triumph. That's what lions do. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. And if you are a true lion, it does not make a difference what the circumstance is. And the best advice I've ever given anybody is just fucking do it. Uh, we take too much time procrastinating. Why you are where you are because you just didn't do it. You didn't want to make a mistake. You got a mortgage. Your mother's got emphysema spitting up blood. I can go on and on and on and on. But the bottom fucking line is, if you had 15 years ago, you had just done it. 10 years ago, you had just fucking done it. Five years ago, if you had just fucking done it. Six fucking months ago, if you just fucking done it, you probably wouldn't be in the position you're in now. So I'm saying no matter what your age is, it's still time to just fucking go out and do it. Just go out and fucking do it. If there's anything in life that you don't currently have right now, it's because of who you are and how you think. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it because you're human. Every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through. If they decide to, push through it. Push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. And he acts the way he thinks. You see, the size is not the problem. The weight of the elephant is not his concern. What makes him act is the way he thinks. And because he thinks he can eat the, the elephant, he attacks it. Leadership attitude. Now here's another amazing mystery. The elephant is larger, bigger, stronger, more powerful, heavier, and more intelligent. And yet, when the elephant sees the lion, one word comes to mind, eater. The elephant is controlled by the way he thinks. He thinks that he is lunch. Therefore, his size, his weight, his power, his might, his, his authority is a victim of the way he thinks. It doesn't matter how big you are, how intelligent you are, how many degrees you get. It's your mind that keeps you small. You stand around and watch all the opportunities go by. They sit there, they sit there, they, oh, I'm getting ready. Bert's getting ready. Bert's getting ready. Rick's getting ready. Oh, maybe, maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Oh, fuck, no, no, I'm tired now. Maybe the next one, maybe the next one. And, and there comes somebody like me, just jumps on the fucker and eats it. The difference between me and everybody in this room is I have no fear of anything. 
Once you become fearless, life becomes limitless. Listen to me very closely. Y'all running from obstacles when in fact it's the obstacle that's gonna take you to the next level. Like y'all running from pain, y'all running from challenges. You telling me how difficult your life is. Do you understand it is the difficulty that's gonna prepare you and take you to that next level? For some of you, when you do what you do, you act as if you have another opportunity. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. You can't just say you want it. You can't watch the video and say, I want it as bad as I want to breathe. It's cute to say it, but when it's showtime, when the sun comes up, you got all the books, you got all the tapes, you got all the access. Now it's time to hunt. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But if life's got you down, I need you to get up and prove them wrong. You can decide that you're going to change, that you're going to stand up to life. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. And all of these things that are happening to me right now, they're just temporary inconveniences. They're not stronger than I am. I'm in charge here. The leader has a attitude that makes him or her different from followers. And the lion exhibits that attitude. We have to cultivate the same attitudes that the lion has. Now, the lion is the king of the jungle. But the lion to me is a great source of encouragement to all of us. Now, what's the main thing that shocked me the lion is that the lion is not larger than the giraffe, bigger than the elephant, or heavier than the hippo. He's not as smart as the hyena or the snake. And yet, when he shows up, they all run away. You don't need to be intelligent. You don't need to be smart. You don't need to have a certain height. You don't need to have a certain weight. You don't need to have any kind of advantage. And yet you can be the leader. What makes the lion so unique? An army of sheep led by a lion will always defeat an army of lions led by a sheep. Because leadership can transform cowards into violent warriors. Why would a lion become the king of the jungle when he has all of those limitations? I'll never forget, I had a conversation with Les Brown. Les Brown had called me to Orlando. We sat in a hotel and I left and I started talking to Les and I started naming like, yo, you Les Brown, this person, number one in the world. He said, don't you ever say that again. I said, don't say what? He said, you the best in the world right now. I said, what? He said, you're the best in the world right now. There's nobody as good as you in the world. You're the best right now. The only reason you're not the best right now is because you don't believe you're the best now. And when you walk out this room, I want you to go in the mirror and tell yourself, I'm the best right now. He said, before you even become number one, start to proclaim it and say it long before it happened. Say, I'm the number one motivational speaker in the world. And when I was number 20, I started saying, I'm the number one motivational speaker in the world. And I went to the computer, and the world said exactly what I said, that Eric Thomas is number one in the world. I spoke it, the world heard it, and it activated. Your problem is that you don't believe you belong here. Your problem is that you don't think you should be sitting down here. So listen to me, there are those of you saying, I want to be a millionaire, I want to be the best at this company, right? But your value system says you believe in sleep more than you believe in grinding. That you're spending more money than you're making. Why? Because you're a consumer, but you're, you're reading all the books and you're saying everything the books are saying. But those books are not in alignment with your values. And if you're going to go to the next level, your values are going to have to change. When I believed... The lion has a different attitude that makes every animal afraid of him. Now, we don't want to lead by fear, but it does take respect for you to become a leader. When I use the word fear in the jungle, we're talking about respect. The elephant respects the lion. The hyenas respect the lion. The, the giraffes, they respect the lion. What makes these massive animals respect such a small cat? The attitude is the difference. It is unique attitudes that distinguish leaders from followers. They think differently, and that's because Attitudes produce certain behaviors, and those behaviors stretch the leader beyond the limitations 
of the norm. In other words, it is the thinking of the person that makes them see circumstances differently. No one can live beyond the limits of their belief. So if you want to live beyond what you're living now, you have to change your belief system.